Day two of the Winters Mill Holiday Boys Basketball Tournament took place on Wednesday, December 29th. Francis Scott Key tipped off against Harford Tech one day after earning a close win over Central Bucks from Pennsylvania. The Eagles' Ryan Rill, who scored 34 points against Central Bucks Tuesday, starts the scoring with a three-pointer from the right wing. Midway through the first quarter, FSK shows off some nice perimeter passing, and when Tech leaves the back door open, Logan Millstreet finds Rill for a reverse layup that makes it 12-5. Elijah Harris catches Harford Tech sleeping after a made basket and beats them down the court for a layup, putting the Eagles ahead 17-5 late in the first quarter. Rill continued to dominate, taking a Millstreet pass and hitting a short jumper in traffic. Late in the second quarter, Millstreet makes a steal at half court and stuffs it home with authority to give FSK a 35-22 halftime lead. Early in the second half, Jaden Heiser whips a nice pass down low to Liam McGrath for a layup. McGrath finished with 21 points. Harford Tech rallies in the third quarter, but Heiser makes a nice steal and converts the left-handed layup to extend FSK's advantage. Rill takes the ball 25 feet from the basket and drives through the Harford Tech defense for a layup, part of a 10-0 fourth quarter run that helped FSK put the game away. Rill finished with a game-best 33 points and FSK won 69-59, making the Eagles a perfect 2-0 over the holiday break. Winters Mill was also trying to go 2-0 in the tournament, having beaten Harford Tech in overtime on Tuesday. The host Falcons faced Central Bucks Wednesday night. The Falcons got going early when Owen Case found Kunal Shaw in the right corner. Shaw buried the three while being fouled and his four-point play put Winters Mill ahead. Moments later, Dallas Johnson swishes this three to put the Falcons on top 7-5. Late in the first quarter, Winters Mill gets offense from defense, deflecting a pass to start a fast break that's finished by Jacob Hinkhouse. Johnson takes a bounce pass from Candy McPossey and hits the reverse layup to help the Falcons go into halftime with a 25-21 lead. This three-pointer by Shaw allows the Falcons to maintain their advantage early in the third quarter, but Central Puck should rally. Now trailing late in the third, Johnson finds a wide-open Ben Weller inside to put Winters Mill back on top, 34-33. It was tied at 37 all after three quarters. Johnson, who led the Falcons with 16 points, dribbles around and then drives the lane, finishing with a flourish with a minute left to seal the Winters Mill victory. Weller wound up with 15 points and 10 rebounds, and Hinkus also had 15 points. The 56-44 win means the Falcons joined Francis Scott Key with sweeps in the Winters Mill Holiday Tournament. Want more local sports coverage? Be sure to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel.